This is just what I need, isn't it? Another piece of audio equipment. Well, this is a Sony digital audio tape deck, and the, the circumstances surrounding this are actually kind of interesting how I came to have it. This came from someone uh, who bought this deck new, and who had, as you can see back there, amassed quite a collection of music on digital audio tape, or DAT as it's called. And so this thing came up for purchase with all the music, uh, about 24 blank tapes I believe, one cleaning tape, this one owner DAT deck, the user's manual, this is a DTC 790, and then this thing which is kinda cool, I've never seen one of these before, this is a Sony DAT Walkman WMD DT1. I'd never seen anything like this. And it, it's in pretty much brand new condition after all of these years. Got the little holder that it comes in here. I went ahead and I put batteries in this thing last night. Ran the cleaning tape through it just for good measure and um, played, a, played a DAT in this thing and it sounded very nice. Plugged into the stereo just using the uh, earphone output. There's also a remote control pod. You can see the connector for that there, and a battery light. Now, the remote control pod lets you play and stop and see a time counter, but there's also a very cleverly hidden set of controls on the back, which is a nice touch. The only drawback to these is every time you touch one of these pads, the unit beeps through its headphone output, so you wouldn't want to use this in a place where uh, extraneous noise would be a bad thing. This was almost a phenomenal deal. The person who sold it to me did an excellent job of packaging it, and everything, almost everything got here intact, except for this, the DAT deck itself. When I first got this thing, and I've since, uh, I've since started to repair it here, but when I got this thing out of the box, it looked good until I saw that this door had been pushed way up inside the mechanism, and it, it looked really bad. It looked really distorted. In fact, I didn't have much hope at all, but I carefully took the cover off, took the DAT transport out of it, which is easily done with just four screws, and saw that this really wasn't all that serious, but still has a problem, as you can see. It uh, will just fall open. There's nothing, nothing there to hold it open. Now, of course, I would be remiss not to say that there are plenty of painful puns to be made using the word DAT. I'll try not to make too many of them in this video. But what I need to do right now is I need to go ahead and get the cover off. And for those of you who are wondering, you know, if you have a DAT machine that's not working and it happens to be a Sony, there's a very good repair thread on the Audio Karma forums that you might uh, you might want to drop by and visit because it seems that most of these things ills can be fixed. But this machine, apart from this door, is in beautiful shape. There's hardly even a scratch or a mark on the display and there's no marks or fingerprints or anything on any other part of it, so it's just amazing. And I think I'm really going to enjoy listening to that music, a lot of which is jazz, and I don't have a lot of background in jazz music, so it should really broaden my horizons a pretty fair bit. Now there you can see the actual uh, working mechanics of the DAT mechanism. You'll notice that most of this case is empty, but there's a pretty massive circuit board in here. Now digital audio tape is, of course, a digital format. It, um, in the case of this deck, it can use either a long playing format, which I believe is sampled at 32 kilohertz, a 44.1 kilohertz rate, or a 48 kilohertz sampling rate. You know, the idea being that as you increase the quality, your recording time drops a little bit. Most of the tapes that I got are the, I believe these are 120 minute tapes. 120 minutes worth of recording on these things, and as it is recording, this thing actually puts a time code on the tape so that the counter works in real time. But what I think happened here, um, I think I got very lucky is what I think happened here. This could have been so much worse than it was, but I think most of the damage here is just cosmetic. Like I say, this thing was, uh, this front door here, which you can see me playing with in the background, was actually pushed up in here into this area. There we go, that's better. And um, it had simply been popped out of its uh, mating set of pegs on the bottom. But now for the falling open problem, that's a little bit different and I'll have to get the mechanism out of here. Now with the mechanism out of the unit, you can kind of see what went wrong here and why the door just flaps open in the breeze like that. There's this little spring down here and this part of the spring has come free from this thing because like I say it, it plugs into a peg right here 
and that got wrenched out of its connection and it got wrenched out of it over here and then this thing just got pushed up and over and out of the way but luckily no lasting damage was done and this deck works perfectly otherwise so all I should have to do is take this thing and hook it back up here on this uh, little plastic protrusion and then the basket should work properly when I put the machine back together and there it is now you can see how I've gone ahead and I've just gently hooked this back where it came from using the uh, reference photo from Audio Karma there that uh, Audio Karma member Sassy, S-A-S-I, was kind enough to provide from one of his decks and he also authored this excellent thread on repairing these things. At the risk of repeating myself, if you have a Sony DAT machine that's broken and it's uh, you know having trouble loading or winding a tape or doing something along those lines, you can probably use his excellent post to fix it. So that's what I have done here. Now to go ahead and just put the uh, mechanism back into place and go again. There's a the little mechanism back in place. I just have to put the front cover back on and the top cover back on, test this thing out and see if it works like it ought to. Alrighty, now let's give DAT a try. <laughs> Display's in real good shape. Let's see if it'll go ahead and eject like it ought to. Oh yeah, it worked perfectly. And this definitely loads in an interesting way. And you want to be gentle with this because it's a high precision mechanism. Put that in there. And it goes ahead. And it proceeds to load the tape. Let's see here. We can go ahead and fast forward and rewind it. play it. And yeah, that definitely looks to be working well. Now I don't have um I don't have any uh any amplifier hooked up right now, so you definitely can't hear it, but I would say given that the uh VU meters on the display are working that it's probably all good. So, now for those of you wondering, yes, my mother and father definitely tolerate this habit, but my mother is just on the edge, you know. She's like, don't bring any more of that stuff home. <laughs> anyway, there you have it. One freshly repaired digital audio tape machine, the Sony DTC-790. In other words, that's a wrap. <laughs>